So guys, we're hanging out here today in Concord, North Carolina. And if you're thinking about maybe moving to Concord and you wanna know what $700,000 can get you in this price range, you're gonna to wanna to check out the rest of this video. We're gonna take a tour of this neighborhood. I'm gonna show you this amazing model home here by Niblock Homes, guys. And also I wanna show you what is happening with the top 100 metros across the country and a new report that came out in where Charlotte fits. So if you guys are ready to go, let's get it done right now. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and we have not met yet, my name is Brian Taylor and I'm the owner of Dreamline Realty. We are gonna explore this neighborhood out here in Concord called Old Homestead. But before we do that, I wanna to talk to you guys about a new report that came out just a few days ago. And we're talking about the top 100 metros in the United States of America. And this is a realtor.com report. And I wanna show you exactly where Charlotte falls in this uh, report. So let's hop into the computer real quick and then we'll get right back out here to the neighborhood. So let's jump in here and see what's going on. So we've got the Realtor.com 2023 Housing Forecast 100 Largest U.S. Metro. So what we're going to be looking at, guys, is the sales change percentage year over year and the price change percentage year over year. So as you can see down here, we've got Hartford, Connecticut uh, ranked as the number one metro, El Paso, Texas, Louisville, Worcester, Massachusetts, Buffalo, New York, go Bills. And uh, as we make our way down through here, we will see where Charlotte ranks, guys. And I'm going to pin uh, the link to this uh, article here in the description below. So if you want to go back in here and check out some different metros, it will be there for you. And right here in the middle is Charlotte ranked at number uh, 50. So what this is telling us is Realtor.com is predicting a negative 0.3% in sales change for 2023. So essentially what they're saying is that the number of houses sold in 2023 is going to be just a little bit less than we saw in 2022. So in other words, pretty much flat as compared to last year. And then over here, they're predicting a 5.5% year-over-year price appreciation. So, uh, you know what? I don't, I don't necessarily know if I agree with that. Uh, we are seeing a lot of price reductions in the area now. I just don't see how we're going to be at a 5.5% um, year-over-year price appreciation. I, I guess I can kind of understand that because if you do go back uh, you know, to this month in 2022 and look at the year over year, you know, prices, how they have gone up so much. Yes. I mean, year over year, uh, we are still in the positive. But if you go over just the last 90 days to 120 days, guys, prices are coming down into the negative numbers when you look at it from a month over month basis. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. And again, I will put this article in the video description below. All right, guys, we're back in the neighborhood. And once again, we are in Old Homestead with Niblock Homes in Concord, North Carolina. Now guys, Niblock Homes is a local builder here in the area. They started in 1979 with three brothers to start started to build a construction company, right? So 42 years later, they have built over 3,500 houses. Now, one of the cool things about Niblock Homes is they are a semi-custom builder. So that means you can take any one of their floor plans and make some adjustments to it. A lot of builders won't do that. So if you wanna add an extra uh, bathroom or an extra closet or bump out your living room, they are happy to make those accommodations for you. So in this neighborhood, there's gonna be 40 lots out here. There's about eight or nine opportunities left. They've got nine floor plans. Some are ranches and some are two stories. All of the houses out here come with fiber cement, which is your hardy board and a mixture of stone and a mixture of brick. So the price range out here, guys, is gonna be anywhere from the high 600s to the middle to upper 700s. And I wanna get you guys into a model home now called the Arlington. It sits at 3,400 square feet. It's five beds, four and a half baths, and it's priced at 799,600. So let's go check it out.
So guys, if you like that video as much as I did, give it a like and also consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the other videos that I'm putting out every week about everything going on here in the Charlotte real estate area. So guys, around this community is so much stuff, restaurants, medical facilities, interstates. I wanna take you to the map and show you everything that this neighborhood has to offer. All right, guys, so let's get you into the map and show you exactly where uh, this neighborhood is located. So right here is Old Olmstead, and we are gonna be on Weddington Road right here. And right close to there, we have George Lyles Parkway, which is gonna take you this way over to Interstate 85. And you have Highway 29, also known as Concord Parkway South. So right next to this neighborhood, uh, you'll notice uh, the Cabarrus Country Club borders the back of this neighborhood. So if you're a golfer, guys, you got to check out this golf course. It's pretty amazing. And I want to zoom out just a little bit and show you everything that's close to here. So let me get out here just a little bit. As I mentioned, Interstate 85 is just a hop, skip and a jump away. Um, as you make your way over to 85, right there it is. Um, over this way, guys, you've got everything you need close to here, right? So you've got Publix, that's a grocery store. And farther up on 29, you've also got another Harris Teeter. And you have all of your healthcare facilities right up here with Atrium Healthcare sitting right next to the Carolina Mall. But if we go back over this way, um, we have the whole Afton area over here. So in this plaza, I can zoom you in a little bit here. Um, over here in this plaza, you've got Target, you've got Marshalls, you've got other restaurants, Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, everything that you're gonna need. Over here in Afton Village, you've got the Afton Tavern. There's another um, Afton Pizza Place over here. Just lots of stuff right close by. And I wanna show you, if I take you a little bit farther out, um, you are just um, a hop, skip, and a jump down here on 85 South. It's gonna dump you out on exit 49, which is right here. And that is where the Concord Mills Mall is located. Um, you've got your anchor store there, Bass Pro Shops, you've got a movie theater, theater in here. You've got all sorts of other restaurants around the mall area, uh, Texas Roadhouse, Cracker Barrel, uh, a bunch more that sit right around here that you will um, have access to everything. Let me just zoom you in just one more and I'll show you what we got there. So we got Olive Garden. Uh, next to Olive Garden is um, Red Lobster. And then we have um, over on this side, you're going to find Outback Steakhouse um bonefish grill panera bread chick-fil-a just across the way so everything that you need guys will be right next to you in old homestead so as you can take a look on the map i'm gonna i'm gonna zip you out just a little bit farther because i want to show you where this is in relation to charlotte itself so as you can see right here old homestead sits just on the northeast side of charlotte once again in the concord area and as you can see, you are just a, a hop, skip, and a jump here from Interstate 485, which is gonna take you all the way around the east side of the city. And of course, that way to the west, you are close to Huntersville, you are close to Harrisburg. Uh, just got just a great location, right? So if you work in Uptown Charlotte, let me show you how far it is to get to Uptown Charlotte from here. It is not far at all. And based upon where we are right now, I'm shooting this video for you here in the early afternoon and you are only a 20, where is my little, where's my numbers on this guy? Let me go back here and see, it should give us the time frame. Um, at least it did when I checked this a moment ago. Um, but it's about a 28 minute drive is what that showed me earlier when I, when I was in here. So about a 28 drive, 28 minute drive, I'm sorry, right into Uptown Charlotte guys. If you work there, not far away at all if you do need to get to the airport because that is uh, one of the things that's important to you let me just plug in here the charlotte douglas airport and let you know how far that's going to be uh from there that is a 33 minute drive um to the airport guys so let me um back out of this real quick what i wanted to do is to give you kind of this satellite view of this neighborhood so you can see it from that angle as well and right there we go as you can see that neighborhood is not very big um but it is a gorgeous gorgeous neighborhood in prime location guys so i hope this map tour was helpful 
Hey guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Again, Niblock Homes, old homestead in Concord, North Carolina. Hey guys, if you need my help in your home search or making a smooth move to Charlotte, or if you live here looking for your next house, super easy to get a hold of. Give me a call, shoot me a text, or better yet, my favorite, hop on a Zoom call with me. Let's put a face to a name and talk about your situation. And in the link below is a description right to my calendar, guys. So once again, thanks for hanging out with me. And if you want to know more about that 2023 Realtor.com forecast, you may want to check out this video now. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Make it a great day.